Hello there, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to implement logistic regression from scratch without using any other ML libraries like uh, uh, sklearn. So without wasting any more time, let's get into the coding. So as a lot of code that I'm going to write here, I have already explained that code in linear regression because it is the same kind of code and I'm not going to explain that part but uh, the things that are specific to logistic regression, I'm only going to explain that part only. If you want to understand the whole uh, algorithm, then you should go and check out my linear regression and multivariate regression series. So now let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we need is to define a hypothesis. So let's take that hypothesis and it is going to take a theta, x and theta. Okay, now it is going to find z. Let's take uh, mp dot dot and before this i should also do import numpy as np so now we will multiply x and um, theta now our hypothesis is like this let me just show you what we are going to do we are going to multiply x and theta We are going to multiply x and theta and then we are going to pass this x and theta into the sigmoid function and that sigmoid function is going to be 1, one divided by 1 plus e to the power x theta so this is going to be our hypothesis and right now i am finding this now i will pass this to a sigmoid function that will return this value so i am going to do this and now let's say equals that equal to np okay now let's stick by prediction is going to be sigmoid and in this i'm going to pass z and now it will return z okay so not z but it is written by uh, y hat okay so def sigmoid we also need to make a sigmoid function in this we are going to pass a z and what we are going to do we are going to implement this function so it is going to be 120 divide by 1, 1 plus np dot exp minus z minus uh, z or minus 1 into z so it is going to implement this but first let's do this here now we have this now the next thing is we also need to find our error so left error and for this we are going to get x and theta again so so the error that we are gonna use is log likelihood this is the error that we are gonna use and the formula for this error is sigma of y log predicted y value and then plus y 1 minus y log 1 minus y predicted value so this is our formula and as we talked in our previous videos that instead of increasing this value what we can do is we can decrease the negative of this value so we are going to add a minus here and here and we are going to decrease this value because we are using gradient descent so that's why i am using this because it makes more sense to decrease a function because we are decreasing the error basically but it is not going to affect that much so we are just using the minus sign here and instead of this we are going to use np dot dot function so let's implement this quickly okay now what i am going to do is let's take uh, error equal to np dot dot in this i have to pass our okay so let me also oh yeah we also need to get our original y and we also need to get our predicted y so what it is going to do it is going to be hypothesis and in this we need to pass x and theta okay and now what we need to pass here is we need to pass minus y and minus y and we also need to multiply it with 
np.log y hat okay then we need to my uh, subtract this with this value as we are what we are doing here basically as we are using np dot function so first of all we will use np dot function on this and then we will use np dot function on this this both of these uh, operations is going to generate a number and then this num uh, this number is going to be subtracted by like um, this number is going to be subtracted by this number so that is what we are doing right here so let me just write it uh, clear it once okay so we have implemented the first part now the second part is uh, np dot dot and here we have one minus y times np dot np dot log and where here we have one minus y theta so this is going to be generate this is going to generate our error and we also going to use return error divided by m and m is going to be number of examples x equal to error not error m equal to x dot shape zero so this will be our error function and everything here like this or this part or this part i have already explained in linear regression series so please go and check out that series i am only explaining the new part here that we have new like this function or this line so i am only explaining this part okay now what we need to find we need to find the gradient so def we are going to make a def gradient function and in this function what we are going to do we have to pass x and we also have to pass theta and i guess we also have to pass y okay so we know that our update rule was same as the linear regression which was uh, which was this y hat minus y multiplied by x j and i have already show, uh, shown you how to implement this so i am just going to do that so what i am going to do is um, here is let's take we have theta okay we have theta now what we need is first of all we need y i y hat so that is going to be hypothesis hypothesis and here we need to pass x and theta okay and we also need m m is going to be again x dot shape zero yeah and we need to find the gradient so gradient is going to be grad equal to uh, it is going to be nothing but np dot dot and it is going to be x dot transpose multiplied by y underscore y y underscore minus y theta or y theta uh, basically y not y theta x transpose and it is going to be y uh, prediction minus y so this is going to perform the functions here and it is going to generate the number of parameters that we have okay it is going to generate uh, the number of gradients equal to the number of uh, features that we have with our x so let's say we are finding the diabetes here so what it is going to do that let's suppose we have 14 uh, 14 features like okay what is the age or what is the gender of the person so th those are the features and it is going to find the that amount uh, uh, let's suppose n is the number of features then 
uh, the shape of the gradient will also is going to be one time like this so i have already explained all of this that's why i am not explaining explaining it in detail okay so this is going to be grid and again we need to return written grid divided by m now the final part of this puzzle is going to be def gradient descent okay and in this we need to pass x we need to pass y we need to pass learning rate uh, learning rate let's take it as 0.1 and let's also take epoch so let's take epoch as uh, right now let's take 50 epochs okay now there are some things that we need to do to apply our gradient descent method uh, method and it is going to be the same as we did in our multivariate regression so i am not going to explain that much in this part so first of all what we need to do is we need to find the uh, uh, find m and n and this is going to be x dot shape okay uh, this is the first part then we need to do theta and it is going to be np dot zeros and it is going to generate an uh, shape of this basically it is going to have an element okay now as we have this uh, we also need to make a error list so that we can see how our errors is error is decreasing or not uh, so this is going to be a list and then you can use for uh, let's take for high in uh, range epochs epochs and in this what uh, i need to do first of all first of all i need to find the error that we have so error for that error function error and we are all equal to error error function we need to call we need to pass here x theta and y so that is what i'm going to do x theta and y okay now the next thing that we need to uh, add to is add this error into the list it is going to be like this and this dot and error okay now the third thing that we need to do is find the gradient so grade gradient is going to be a gradient function and here again we need to pass x theta and y and i don't think that we need to do anything uh, just we need to do uh, what we need to do is update the theta so theta is going to be g uh, here should be theta minus theta equal to theta minus learning rate learning rate into gradient so this is going to update the theta and then at last we are going to return theta we are going to return error so this was the program guys that we had to wrote and this is only uh, logistic regression and if you did watch my previous videos then you will understand this very easily and it is not a big deal at all and this was it guys so thanks for watching and i hope that i'll see you next time